guys and welcome to my channel. I'm Angelique. So today I'm going to be reviewing a new unit from the Outre Lacefront Wig Collection. This one is in the style Tella and it's in the color number 1B. So this is what the stock card for her is looking like. And this one's going to be available in 7 special colors. So for the cap construction on this one, you are going to get that defined parting space that goes right down the middle. It is going to also come with two combs in the front, it's going to come with one comb in the back as well as your adjustable straps and it does also come with an elastic band and this one was made on a ventilated wig cap. So this is what it's looking like right on the wig head. And this one is 24 inches you guys. So since it is just a lace front wig, you're not going to have a pre-plucked hairline or anything like that, it's going to be very minimal. So I'm just going in with my silkening mist spray from Femme and just coating it all along the hair so that when I go in with my hot comb it's not burning the hair or anything like that. Now I'm just going in with the hot comb and trying to get that hairline slicked back. And I'm just trying to get rid of a little bit of that humpiness that I'm seeing and just adding that heat to also make sure that that parting space is more defined. So after I'm finished hot combing it, I'm just gonna clip the hair back so I can get ready to cut the lace off. I'm going in with my embroidering scissors and I like to start from the middle so that I can cut the lace section by section. This just makes it a little bit easier for me. And I like to cut in an up and down sort of zigzag motion, kind of just keeping that lace jagged so that it just helps with blending it into your skin. So I'm just continuing on the other side, just cutting in an up and down sort of zigzag motion. And just like I said, this is going to help with the blending just so that you don't have a super harsh line of demarcation. So that's what it's looking like after I cut the lace off of it. Now I'm just going to go in with my even lace tint spray in the color dark brown. And just going to add that on top of the lace. So really like what the curls are looking like on this one you guys. Now I'm just popping it on my head. Since it is a lace front, this one should be pretty easy to install. There's not really many things you can do when it comes to lace fronts just because it's very minimal. Since there's so little lace, you also can't go in and do any plucking either because I definitely would have liked to do that. But since there's not really much lace for you to maneuver, you can't go in and pluck it out. And this just may be for me for preference. I think maybe I'm just used to closures and frontals. I'm not the biggest fan of lace fronts just because I don't like the fact that you can't pluck the hairline and get that super realistic look. It's good if you're somebody who's a beginner or just wants to throw on and go. So now I'm just going in with my The Warrior 2 eyeshadow palette and I'm using the color Yodit and I'm just going in blending that lace in. So I really like the texture on this one you guys. The texture is definitely feeling like a yaki for sure. It's super lightweight on my head. The density is really nice. It's like 150 to 180% so definitely nice and full. Now that I have it on my head, I'm just going in and adding additional heat just to get that humpiness down. And then I'm just going to go in with my bristle brush and brush it down. And as you guys can see, this one was pretty easy and simple. Just like I said, it's a lace print, so it's just going to be less work in general. So if you're somebody who's not looking to do too much, I definitely would suggest a lace print. And just like I said, especially if you're a beginner who doesn't really know too much about wig, lace prints are going to be a definitely easy option. And now I'm just going to go in with my She Balm Wax Stick and to just try to get it as sleek and slick down as possible. So as far as the cap size on this one, I'm going to say that this one is definitely small and medium head friendly. My head is about 22 to 22 and a half inches in circumference and I haven't adjusted adjustable straps at all and it's fitting my head perfectly. 
So I do think if you have a head that is larger than mine, you definitely should just stray on the side of caution because there wasn't really too much stretch to the cap. You may be struggling a little bit with this one. This one may feel a little bit tight on your head, so definitely just keep that in mind. So I did get just minimal tangling and shedding, nothing too crazy. Like I said, it's 24 inches, so it's definitely nice and long. I would say that this is possibly one that you could wear every day just because hairstyles like this with the flips and with this texture are what I typically tend to wear every day. So I think this one would be fine for that. You may want to cut it down a little bit more though. So when it comes to the cons on this unit, I really don't have any cons. Like I said, I mean, it's a simple lace front, so you don't get that additional option to go out and pluck the hairline like I would like, but that's nothing against the unit itself. Like I said, it's a lace front, so you can't really be expecting that. But as far as the pros on it are concerned, I like the density. I really like the texture of it. I really just like the look as a whole, because this tends to be like one of my go-to styles with just like the flips and this sort of yakky body weight vibe. So I really like the style of it, the texture. The length this nice I probably would want to cut it down a little bit more the way that the curls are flipped in it does definitely give it that layered effect I definitely do feel like this is one of the you can fake it until you make it units like just like I said the hairline's nothing too perfect just because it's a lace front but I definitely feel like it's wearable you could definitely make it work for yourself I definitely like the fact that it was not really too much work for me to get it looking the way that I want it to look as a whole when I pick it up again probably not but that's also personal preference just like I said I'm not a lace front girl but I do think if you're somebody who's just looking for something that's easy and simple that you won't have to put too much work into to get a good look going, then this one could probably be for you. And that's pretty much all I have to say about this unit. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If it was, just make sure you give me a like, give me a subscribe, comment down below any of the units you want me to pick up in any of the colors, honey. And until then, I hope to see you guys soon. Bye. When